way you can use Mother Nature to your advantage in your summer garden. There are good bugs and there are bad bugs. Elisa Briggs <laughs> from the Bruce Company is here today to show us a little bit how to deal with this kind of both. The yes, bad bugs. We're, we brought bad bugs. Um, good bugs that you want to encourage in your garden are certainly ladybugs. They are. Um, huge eater of aphids and small insect pests. Lacewings are good and also praying mantis. Oh. You actually sell those bugs. We do sell those bugs early in the spring and you can release them and if there's if there are pests in your yard they'll hang around and eat them. Also though you want to encourage um, birds. Birds eat a lot of bugs. Bats eat tons of bugs. Dragon fly flies will eat bugs. So, okay. Yeah so leave like a, you know like a, a water supply like shallow water and, and to encourage them. But who eats the bad guys? Oh nobody, nobody eats the bad guys. The Yes, so you want to show your, yeah, your these picture? Are, yes, I brought this is full of Japanese beetles. The Ew. garden center crew got them for Ew. me this afternoon. I hate these things. You collected all of these today from the garden center? Yeah, and not in a very long period of time either. Here, let me hold so it. thank you, Heather, Joyce, and Ken. Oh, yeah, they're a big problem. Yeah, and this they? is the kind of damage they do. So they skeletonize leaves on hibiscus, grapes, raspberries, uh, roses, linden, just a ton of things are affected. It's hard to see them in the jar, so yeah, you so brought, brought a, a picture. Photo. That was a great idea. I mean, they're, very, they're very shiny and pretty. They're about as big as your thumbnail, mm -hmm. and they have some dots on the side, so they're easy to identify. And they're voracious. They do two things. They eat and they procreate. Quickly. Yes. So what do you do? How do you get rid of them? Well, the only thing to do, the best thing, you can treat your lawn, but it's too late to do that. Um, and we recommend that you do that in the spring, but you can use a contact herbicide or pesticide. So there are two kinds. So these are the sort of inorganic ones. This is Japanese beetle killer and this is eight. Both of these are safe for food, although you want to read the package instructions because like you spray and you might have to wait a day before you can harvest. This is Captain Jack's dead bug, and this is an organic. <laughs> That's a great name. I like Captain I Jack's. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> this is, it was, um, it's a, a result of rum fermentation. Oh. Which is why that's called Captain Jack's. And they're safe to use on, on Yes, on food as well, but again, read the instructions. All right, and then we got a new guy. This is up. new guy. This has been around a couple of a couple of years. This oh, he's is very pretty. Very pretty. It's <laughs> red. This is um, lily beetle and it's becoming a bigger problem, but it's only a problem on true lilies, not day lilies. The Asiatic Asiatics, Orientals, Martagons, all those kinds of things. But if you have day lilies, it's not a problem and on they, day lilies. And they go after the they foliage. They go after the foliage, yes. And the plants need the foliage to Plants survive. Plants need the foliage to, to get energy to photosynthesize. This is another one that we're seeing, and you might think this is a disease, but this is actually leaf gall, and these are structures that are created by the leaf structure itself because a mite or a wasp or a fly laid an egg in the developing buds. Oh. So these are not going to hurt your plant, but you want to do a good cleanup in the fall. But they, like, they're they really weird looking. Yeah. And we've been seeing a lot of galls this year as well. Climate getting a little warmer. New bugs moving in. New bugs move in. Global warming. Grab your stuff. Get Grab your, your Captain, Captain Jack. Jack. <laughs> Lisa, thank Don't you. Don't drink this. Get the other stuff for drinking. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. <laughs>